Okay, everybody. Um, I'm here in the mountains. I don't know what's going on, but my signal keeps going crazy. So to make this a little faster for us, I have taken our mixture out of here. And uh, I just transferred it, you know, just to the Nutribullet. Because the Nutribullet is a lot faster. Um, I like to make big batches of peanut butter. So I usually use my blender. But we're going to use a Nutribullet today and make a little condensed batch. Um, I just have, all I have done is switched it here. Now I did add a little bit more agave because I tasted it. I want mine's a little more sweet. And I added a little more coconut milk already. And we're going to blend it up and I'm going to open and let you see. And here we go. this up. I don't know what I can set you guys on to see, but let's see if I can set this up for y'all to see what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm going to open this up here. Oh yeah, guys, this is beautiful. Okay, here we go. Let's switch it back around. Check that out. This is how you make Sebian peanut butter, y'all. Okay? So, I know those videos were really choppy. I'm so sorry. But I did want to show you guys this because... You can be Sebian and have a wonderful Sebian life without giving up the things you love. Um... A lot of people really love peanut butter. I love peanut butter. My kid likes it. So this is what you do. Um, I'm just going to go over the the results one more time. I used a cup of tahini butter, which you can use like, you know, three-fourths of a cup if you want. I used a whole cup of mine. And then a cup of walnuts. Do like about a tablespoon of spelt flour. Um, hey, Ashley do about four or five tablespoons of agave, about a teaspoon of sea salt, and then your coconut milk. You're going to put coconut milk and just slowly start to add it in until you get the consistency that you want. And, you know, the same with the agave. You can slowly add a little bit until you get the consistency you want so long as y'all, you know, you don't want your peanut butter to be too loose. And if you want to make this crunchy, you can, you know, just don't, when you get your walnuts in there, you're going to want to do a pulse instead of a grind, which is a bit of a different process. Also, what you can do is make your peanut butter like this and just dump it in a bowl and then take your walnuts and kind of pulse them by themselves and mix it in the peanut butter. To me, that's an easier way without like ruining your peanut butter consistency. But um, check it out, guys homemade peanut butter 100% Sebian approved no dairy no bad starches no bad sugars no peanuts because peanuts are hybrids this is made with sesame seeds walnuts agave spelt flour some sea salt and some coconut milk Spreads really good too. Remember our little Sebian crackers that I told you guys I made in the oven. I didn't get a chance to do a video, but um, I'm just gonna grab a cracker out. I'm gonna spread some of this on there. And I think it's gonna be really delicious. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Oh wow. 
That came out good. Mm-hmm. It's good, guys. There you have it. Peanut butter and crackers. Um, I'm going to eat this as a sandwich in a minute. Because <laughs> I just pulled some bread out of the freezer. But, um... All done. Um, I'm sorry for the different videos. I know that was pretty crazy. I will try to put it all together for y'all to make something better. But um, here we go. And don't worry, I'm going to make another batch in the blender um, the way I like it to be done so that you can actually see the process of how the oils work with the milk, which I think is a pretty great process. So we're going to keep this going. I'm going to put it in a container. And what I'm going to do is later when the baby wakes up, I'm going to make her a little sandwich with it. And I'm going to take some pictures, make a little video. We'll see if she likes it. Um, this time I put a little bit more tahini butter than what I usually do. Because I just wanted to see. Um, like I said, I found a recipe on YouTube. Um, Alkaline Meal Ideas. This lady is great. And I found her recipe. And I just decided to lessen some things and add some other things. And it came out good. But um, next time I think she uses the one to one ratio. Next time I think I'm going to use like the one to maybe a half ratio. Um, because the thing is, tahini butter, guys, it's ground up sesame seeds. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So. Considering what that is, anyone out here, all my people who cook, and for those of you that don't, you can imagine how bitter that is, <laughs> okay? So, you have to add another nut. Um, walnuts, um, possibly sunflower. I wouldn't really say sunflower, though, because um, Sunflower seeds, when you grind those up and add agave and salt and coconut milk and spelt, it turns into peanut butter on its own. You don't need another element the way you do uh, tahini butter. And you can make walnut butter too. You can make walnuts by themselves into something that's similar to peanut butter, um, walnut butter, raw or sweetened. But if you want like a peanut butter taste, you're going to have to add some tahini butter in there. And you're going to have to use a decent amount of agave and watch your ratios so that it can be really sweet and yummy. Mm -hmm. That's good. So, I'll show you guys again. 